as the woman, the woman was praying, praying because she said if she don't find somebody or something to hear from God or something, right? She's going to go home, suicide right after church. Absolutely. Again, my Facebook Live is having issues right now. I have no clue why it's bleeping and blipping, and so I'm going to have to finish this Facebook Live real quick. And it was good news about it. That woman was saved. She got yeah. saved. Now she's serving God. I don't remember her name. Is, but I remember seeing her. Oh, yeah. So my Facebook Live is getting powered off and restarting. And it's we're, we're going to stop Facebook Live for right now because I don't know why it's having issues. But God doesn't want this message. God wants this message to go out, but the devil does not. But we're, we're rearing the end of the show anyway, so it's not going to be like it's going to be they missed a lot because they heard the whole show anyways. But it's it's not that hard to tell somebody that Jesus loves them. Just the two words, just the three words, right. Jesus loves you, is one of the easiest things in the world to say to somebody. So it's not that hard to say Jesus loves you. So, I mean, like I said, God will never give you anything that you can't handle. Everything that Amen. God gives you is going to be, it's practically easy to follow God. If you follow by the Bible and its standards, it is so easy to, to follow God once you know what you're doing. Right. If you follow, by the, you follow by the Bible's laws and, and it teaches everything. They teach, it's supposed to teach you every day about life, how to live and everything. Right, you can never go. Book. I don't call it laws anymore because the law is written to two because we God knows that we couldn't fulfill couldn't fulfill the law, so he fulfilled it for us. So it's not laws, it's more or less instructions. Let me, let me say to you this way instructions. Right. When you the Bible the Bible in my aspect, the B I B L E stands for basic instructions before leaving Earth. And when you put a TV stand together or a table together, do you just sit down and start putting it together or do you read the instructions? Amen. So what is it? It's a manual. Right. It's the manual how to put, how to piece your life together. This piece goes here and he makes it so easy. He tells you in the word where each and every piece in your life goes. It's so dead simple, Steve, that you can't fail as long as you follow the instructions that God gives you throughout the Bible. You follow instructions, you believe in it, it's a man you had about say life itself. Absolutely. If you follow that word, there's no chance in God's green earth you get it wrong. You might know why? It. Go ahead. Well I'll put it this way, if you read the instructions and you and you did the instructions to what the Bible, the manual, or the book says, do you, did you know that, that you went through it already? This is ample, and you can't go wrong because you didn't go wrong, you know what I mean? Absolutely. As long as you follow that book and follow the instructions to, the, to a T, what God says to do, you can't go wrong. Nothing can go wrong in your life because you're following what God says. He makes it so dead simple. He says in every aspect of your life, he tells you what to do, what not to do in every aspect of your life. In every sure. aspect of your life. Like don't kill, don't murder, don't commit adultery. You no, know, everything. Don't have any other gods before me. If you just, if you alone, Steve, just follow the Ten Commandments and nothing but the Ten Commandments. Okay. Is your life going to be still fulfilled? Of course it is. Because the Ten Commandments, Steve, is just... I, I call the Ten Commandments a mini Bible or a mini word. You know what I mean by that? That everything in that Ten Commandments is all summed up in those Ten Commandments. That if you follow just those Ten Commandments, your life is going to go great. Because those Ten Commandments are everything packed in to the Bible all in those commandments. You see what I'm saying? Yes. So... When it says, thou shalt not kill, okay? All the Bible that is that talks about murder is a sin can all be packed into that Ten Commandment, one of that commandment. 
when the when you say when the commandment says thou shalt have other gods before me, every scripture that has idolers will not enter the kingdom of God, and all the scriptures about having other gods are packed into that commandment. By the time you're done with all those commandments and you've fulfilled each one of those, you fulfilled the entire Bible because all those commandments are th- throughout the Bible in in its entirety. So every commandment is in the Bible in one shape or form or another. You'll find it in many different scriptures. Yep. How so, true it is. But God knew we couldn't God knew we couldn't fulfill it ourselves. So he wanted he did it for us so that we can be blameless. See, God yep. was blameless, but at one point he had to take the blame for everyone. But he is still blameless because he died for our sins and rose again so that we can be blameless. He's still blameless, but he took the blame upon himself so that we can be free, so that we can live life eternal with him. Amen? Forever and forever. Amen. Amen. So that's the message for today. I thought we did a pretty good job preaching the word today. Did we not, Steve? Yes, we did. And guys, thank Let's, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's play a couple songs, and we are going to do a couple now, Steve. We're not going to do a whole ton because I know you got to get going. But let's do let's do this one. Let's do this one. It's it's simply entitled "Don't Go to Heaven Alone." Take somebody with you by Doctor Prophet Larry Orell. Amen. Amen. Enjoy. Don't go to heaven alone. Take somebody with you. to have some company go it's better to go anywhere when there's someone to share so on your heavenward move don't go by yourself make it too don't go to heaven alone take somebody with you seem quite so long You'd be surprised how many will go If someone goes who they know So make it your business to do What everybody who's going should do Don't go to heaven alone Take somebody with you That, once again, was Don't Go to Heaven Alone, Take Somebody With You. And I just decided, Steve, that we are going to finish doing some more praise and worship tomorrow. So that way we can get some rest for tonight, because the Bible says that we need rest as well. And once again, Steve, I thank you so much for taking your time to be here on TGIF. You're welcome. And give out your telephone number so people can call you if they need prayer or anything. Phone well, number is one. Two four eight seven five nine zero two three three. 
Phone number again for Prophet and Bishop Apostle Steve is 1-248-759-0233. Give us a call. Give us a blessing. Don't be a stranger now. And Steve, thank you once again for coming on. I know you're busy, but thank you again. I appreciate it. All right. I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you later. This is Steve Regola signing off saying... You still there, Bishop, Prophet? Huh? I said, this is Steve Regona signing off, saying... Thanks, God. It's forever. And goodbye, Steve. Goodbye. That was Steve Regona, everyone. I just clicked off my Skype. He's going to have to hang up now. So let's finish the show. Let's pray real quick. Let's give a quick prayer. Lord, we thank you, in Jesus' name, that you are continuing to do the work in this ministry, Lord, that you are doing what you're doing in this ministry, in this hour, in this in this time, Lord. And I ask you, Lord, to bless everyone and sound of my voice that it not be what selfish, not one of those. I want a 2021 car because I want one. Whether I need a car to get to point A, get to point B, get to work at the church, whatever you need a car for, Lord, whatever they need a car for, Lord, you give it to them. And Lord, heal everyone from diseases, from cancer and diabetes. And yes, Lord, even ones they've contracted themselves to coronavirus too. And ones they contracted themselves like syphilis and gonorrhea and stuff like that. Why? Because when you heal them, Lord, it shows your mercy, your power, and your grace. The Bible says that when doubting Thomas doubted for a minute. And Jesus, look at my hands, Thomas. Thrust your finger into my side. What did, what did God, what did Thomas do? He got on his knees and says, for you are truly this, the Christ. And God said, he says, blessed are those who have seen and believe. But blessed are those who have not yet seen, but yet believe. So Lord, show them your mercy, your grace, and your power by healing them, Lord. So they can see and believe, because you said your word. Blessed are those who have seen and believe. Lord, I thank you again that I got the 998 uh, subscribers on Google, Lord, I ask you to keep upping and upping and upping these subscribers, Lord. Keep these people listening, Lord, because you know what? What I am doing for you, Lord, is not just from me, but it's from you. It's the true word. It's the ultimate word of God that keeps that keeps the captive free, keeps the slaves and the captive free. It sets the captive free. So, Lord, keep this word going and keep everything going that's that's supposed to be going, Lord. And if there's any hiccups, Lord, I am so sorry and I appreciate what you're doing this, Lord, We're in this ministry, Lord. And I am sorry if I ever have any hiccups. But, Lord, thank you. Let's give the Lord a clap offering on a note. Thank you, Jesus, for being Lord of my life, Lord of their lives, and Lord of whoever's coming in, Lord, that just needs to be encouraged lord of their life and if you're not a christian yet and you're just new to this you can always just repeat after me lord thank you for thank you for sending your son jesus to die for me lord i know that i'm a rotten sinner i know that i make mistakes and that i am truly sorry for what i have done thank you lord for dying on that cross so that i the captive can be set free in Jesus' name, amen. If you prayed that prayer, you're automatically a Christian and you're welcomed into the family with me. The Bible says, if me and you both are in Christ, you have part in me, meaning you are part of my godly family. So I thank you for praying that with me. And once again, this is TGIF, TGIF reminding you to, one, trust in the Lord in all your ways. Two, lean not to your own understandings. And three, in all your ways, acknowledge him. He shall direct your path. Thank you and good night.